Hello and welcome to Team BLFI. Uh, today we are going to discuss multi-cycle path uh, in the series of four topics for interview. Uh, so please like this video and subscribe our channel. Our channel is youtube.com slash team VLSI. Uh, so uh, interviewer may ask a direct question like this, what is multi-cycle path? Or they can ask uh, F-plan multi-cycle path. And a typical answer of this question could be like this. Uh, a multi-cycle path is an exception of default single cycle timing requirement path. That is, on, on multi-cycle path, signal requires more than one clock cycle to propagate the data from start point to end point. Uh, after that, it's depending on interviewer, there might be a follow-up questions and to answer uh, and those questions you need to understand the topic clearly. Uh, so let's uh, investigate this uh, topic thoroughly. Uh, so first of all, uh, you need to understand what is the default setup and hold checks. Uh, so here is an example. Uh, this is the simplest example uh, uh, where uh, a launch flop is launching the data and it goes through a combinational logic and it is being captured by a capture flop and both the launch and capture flop is being clocked by a uh, same uh, clocks uh, that is the sing, uh, single clock scenario. Uh, so uh, for the launch flop and capture flop we will uh, have the same uh, clocks. Uh, here uh, I am uh, ignoring uh, for simplicity I am ignoring the uh, any clock uncertainty and skew between uh, these two uh, flops. Uh, so, uh, uh, let's suppose its uh, frequency is 1 gigahertz, uh, uh, that is uh, uh, clock period will be 1 nanosecond uh, and rising edge will appear at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 uh, nanosecond. Okay. Uh, so, uh, where should be a setup timing uh, should check? So, uh, as per the definition of setup timing check, when uh, data is being launched, by a clock edge, uh, the setup timing should be checked on the capture flop uh, to the next uh, clock edge. So, if uh, data is being launched by the zeroth uh, zeroth edge of the launch flop, uh, setup will be checked at first edge of the capture flop. Okay, it's very simple. Uh, and uh, hold is being checked on the uh, same uh, edge. Uh, so uh, hold will be checked at zeroth edge itself. And that's why hold check is independent of your clock period. Okay. Uh, let's uh, see uh, the multi frequency uh, clocks uh, where uh, the, your launch flop and capture flop is being driven by uh, driven. Uh, with the uh, different clock periods clock. So, uh, uh, the, uh, suppose here uh, clock 1 is a slow, uh, slowest as com uh, uh, slower compared to the clock 2. Uh, so, uh, launch flop is having uh, clock uh, uh, like this way and uh, uh, suppose its uh, uh, time period is 3 nanosecond and capture clock is having uh, a fast uh, clock and suppose its clock period is 1 nanosecond. So, this type of scenario is here. So, uh, its uh, capture clocks uh, rising edge will appear at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5th and 6th uh, uh, nanosecond. Okay. Uh, so, uh, where should be a uh, setup timing uh, checked? So here is uh, three uh, possibilities is here. Uh, possibilities are here. First, uh, zero th, uh, of zero edge. Uh, suppose uh, zero edge uh, at zero edge uh, data is being launched. Uh, so it it might be che uh, checked uh, between zero and first edge of capture flop, zero edge of launch flop, and second edge of capture flop. Since there is no uh, another data is being launched uh, between these periods and uh, it might possible that uh, setup timing should 
check between the launch flop of and uh, launch flops zero th age and capture flops third age okay uh, so concept is here uh, very simple that uh, uh, default data check uh, setup uh, check is uh, the shortest window and here is the shortest window is this one zero th age and one th age its window is one nanosecond its window is two nanosecond and it having window of three nanosecond so default the data will be uh, setup timing will be checked uh, between uh, the zeroth edge of launch clock and uh, edge at 1 nanosecond of the uh, captured flop okay and for hold check uh, it is on the uh, same edge where the data is launched okay uh, see the next example with the same scenario uh, but uh, here uh, launch flop is having faster clock than uh, capture of flop uh, so launch flop is having a period of 1 nanosecond suppose and uh, capture flop is having clock uh, period of uh, 3 nanosecond uh, just opposite to this one uh, so uh, in this case where should uh, the uh, setup timing should be checked again here are uh, three uh, different scenarios one is between the zeroth edge and uh, uh, its launch flop uh, zeroth edge and its third edge second is uh, uh, launch flop uh, first edge and uh, its uh, edge at 3 nanoseconds uh, these two and third is uh, launch flop edge at 2 nanosecond and capture flop edge at 3 nanosecond so the these three possibilities are there uh, but as i told uh, what is the shortest window shortest window is this one this one is having window of one nanosecond uh, so launch uh, flops age at two nanosecond and capture flops age at three nanosecond this is the shortest window so default setup timing check is uh, will be uh, done between these two edges and where should be the uh, uh, your uh, hold clock uh, hold timing uh, will be checked uh, it, it it will be checked in the uh, same edge where the uh, uh, same edge that is uh, on this edge okay uh, so uh, concept of default timing uh, uh, default setup timing check is the shortest window okay uh, so uh, how to set the multi cycle path first question is where we define the multi cycle path yes we define in uh, it is in sdc file uh, so in sdc file we have uh, some uh, uh, syntax uh, through which we define the uh, multi cycle path let's see that uh, how we, we will uh, write the multi cycle path constraint in uh, our uh, sdc file so for this scenario where uh, uh, same clock is going to launch flop and capture flop is given by the same clock uh, so it's uh, we have as we have seen the setup check is between uh, zeroth edge of launch flop and uh, edge at appearing at the uh, one nanosecond of the uh, capture flop uh, this is the setup uh, default setup check and this is the uh, default hold check okay suppose uh, we want we want to uh, relax the setup check uh, by four cycle set four cycle so instead of uh, default check in one uh, cycle we want to check uh, the uh, setup at the fourth cycle so it is one two three fourth fourth cycle so how we will uh, provide this exceptions means how we will override this default uh, setup checks uh, so uh, for that we have to provide the exception timing exceptions in the FTC file and the syntax is set multi cycle path followed by setup and uh, here we have to provide number of cycles uh, then uh, here is the starting point of your data path and here is the end point of the data path right so see here here is the number 4 so data will be checked at the uh, after uh, fourth cycle 
okay so on this edge uh, so here we have a problem and problem with the hold check uh, so problem is as we uh, change the uh, setup uh, timing checks edge uh, hold timing checks default path is uh, by default affected and it is affected in such a way that it is uh, it will be checked uh, one cycle uh, before uh, the setup check as as by default it was so uh, we want to just relax the setup uh, timing by four uh, uh, four cycle but by default our whole timing will be checked on this uh, between these two edges uh, so what should we do so we have to add one more uh, exception here and that is uh, to, uh, along with the set multi cycle path for setup uh, we have to set multi cycle path for hold and uh, since it is being checked by uh, one cycle before so always uh, it's uh, a rule is uh, provide hold uh, check uh, by n minus 1 whatever you uh, where n you are uh, n n for the uh, setup then n minus 1 you have to provide for hold and what will it do it will uh, return back revert back your hold check to the default okay uh, so thing is uh, by applying multi cycle path for setup hold get affected by same number of cycles in same direction okay and uh, applying multi cycle path for hold does not affect the setup check timing as you can see here uh, we have again applied uh, the multi cycle path for hold but it is not affecting setup but applying the uh, multi cycle path for setup it affects uh, the hold check okay uh, so see one more example here uh, where both the uh, uh, launch flop and the capture flop is not having the same uh, clock periods so uh, our capture flop uh, is uh, having fastest clock and uh, launch flop is having a slow, uh, a slower clock and by default we have seen the setup check will be done between the uh, these edge uh, now suppose we want to override this uh, default setup check and we want to uh, check it after uh, uh, after two clock cycle okay. so how we will write this syntax set multi cycle path then we have to provide setup and uh, uh, for two here for uh, two clock cycles then from uh, flip flop once uh, one uh, q pins to flip flop to d pins okay so will it set the uh, setup timing check uh, between this edge and this edge uh, no uh, because uh, here uh, we have two different uh, clocks and uh, both is having different uh, clock period so it is not clear with whom respect to you are talking about uh, either with respect to launch flop or clock uh, uh, or capture flop so there is a switch again we have to use uh, start if we want to uh, give relaxation with uh, the st uh, with this launch flop period then we have to use start and if we want to give relaxation uh, or exception with respect to the capture flop um, clocks then we have to use end here okay so let's see if we uh, right here uh, starts then uh, between which edge uh, the uh, uh, setup timing will be checked uh, so setup timing will be checked between these two edges why uh, because the its concept is whatever number you are writing here uh, your default of that and if, if it is n then n minus 1 clock period it will shift from the default and uh, here it is written start so uh, by default it is uh, it, it was here 
so uh, default timing check uh, will be shifted by n minus 1 that is 2 minus 1 uh, from the launch flop for that age okay and uh, with respect to this age uh, our default setup time uh, check will be uh, on this age so ultimately our setup time will be checked between this age to this age fine uh, and to revert the uh, uh, hold check back to the default we just uh, need to use n minus 1 with the same syntax with uh, in the hold n minus 1 number okay so hold uh, will be revert back to the uh, default uh, suppose instead of start we will uh, use end here then where where will we uh, set up check okay uh, so setup will be checked between these two h and y as i have explained here if you provide its n here then n minus one uh, clock cycle uh, shifting will be there from the default and it is uh, end mentioned here so with respect to this clock edge so uh, in this clock edge our default setup timing check was between 0 and uh, 1th nanosecond and uh, 0th nanosecond and at 1 nanoseconds rising edge uh, so uh, setup we have provided 2 here for so 1 2 minus 1 that is 1 1 clock cycle will be shifted and setup will be checked between these two edge okay and to revert the hold uh, check back to the default we have to use uh, same command uh, just need to uh, provide hold and minus 1 here that is 2 minus 1 that is 1 here and so and with this our hold will be shifted back to the default yeah from this we can conclude that setup if setup is providing n will add n minus 1 extra cycle to default setup check this is very important to understand and uh, for hold uh, need to set n minus 1 to get back the default value okay so thank you thank you for watching this session Please do like this video and subscribe our channel. Thank you.